Mark chapter 15, verse 1. We are now in the final day of Jesus' life on earth. He's been in the garden. He had the, 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 the Last Supper. He's been in the garden. He's prayed the three times. He has been betrayed by Judas. He's been bound, put in by handcuffs, tied and brought before the Sanhedrin. This kangaroo, ungodly, unjustified trial in the middle of the night. He's given no lawyers. They went out and sought false witnesses. Then would be falsely charged at the Sanhedrin. Now, as we go further in this study, maybe not tonight, you'll find that even the false charges of the Jews against Jesus. And we'll find their motive. And all this, according to Isaiah 53 and other prophecies in the Bible, other verses in the Old Testament, even Jesus himself talking to disciples, this day in our Bible, it's a middle of the week. It is the fourth day of the week. They did not call it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Good Friday, Saturday. It couldn't have been Good Friday. Because three days and three nights from this event has to be the first day of the week. And it wasn't called Sunday. We are in a high day that John calls it in his gospel. It's the Passover. The Passover, you needed uh, a Sabbath. But we'll get into that, hopefully. Straightway in the morning. And this would be earlier than what the Jews would wake up, or they're just waking up for their day. The chief priests, plural, held a consultation with the elders of Israel, the, the old, and scribe, those in charge of the scriptures, and the whole council, that would be the Sanhedrin. The entire governing body of the Jews, religious, are here and now. As Sanhedrin supposedly means the 70. This would include um, trying to think of names, forgive me. Bar uh, not Barnabas, uh, Barabbas, no, um, Nicodemus, and Joseph of Aramea. I apologize for my... <laughs> and bound Jesus, put him in cuffs, tied him up, and carried him away. And that don't mean they put him on their shoulders. They just walked him. And remind you what scriptures would say about Jesus. Is Jesus would walk their walk. With no rebellion. No yelling. No screaming. He would walk their pace fast or slow. And he already knew what was going to happen by the end of the day. 
He never called for lawyers. He never called for a defense. He never cried out justice. He never cried out injustice. He never declared his rights, and he is God. We'll see in a moment. And carrying away and delivering him to Pilate, he, you will find out later, later, he's the governor in charge by Rome over Judah. And Pilate asked him. Now, Pilate would never question why is Jesus bruised and battered and spitted upon. We talked about that a couple days ago. They put a, a, a shroud over Jesus and punched him. Somebody said, who did that, Jesus? <laughs> Pooh. Bam! Who did that one, Jesus? In his face and over his body. We will learn later, study the scriptures, that it says that they whipped him. Before he got to the Romans. Pilate asked him. Art thou king capital K of the Jews? Now Pilate has heard. this. Here's this guy running around. Proclaiming to be king. Jesus is not king right now. He is not the king of the church. Nowhere is he called king of the church. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. That is at the second advent. Not the first one. And not the church. King of the Jews. Not Gentiles. Not church. You got to rightly divide the Bible. I love the king of the Jews. He's talking to the governor who's in charge of Rome, who the, the Caesar, and hey, we can get him if he asserts the authority of the government. How does Jesus answer? The answer said to him, I'll say it. You cannot say that Jesus said I am king because he would be a liar right now. But he will be one great day at his second return, not the rapture. And the chief priests accused him of many things. He said he was king. He said he's God. Step on the crack, break the most back. I mean, who knows? But he answered nothing. They're standing before Pilate, the governor. Jesus. He wouldn't even whistle. Why would God, who is innocent, why would he need to say anything? He said, listen, at one point, he said, I can call down legions of angels. But the scripture's right of me. I, I have gone. I am going. I, I am to en enjoy what I'm doing. And I am doing it for you all. That you all would have eternal life. Everything is happening right now. According to the scriptures. He suffered and died according to the scriptures. Part one of three parts of the gospel. So if the Bible says he suffered. And he died according to the scriptures. And we have come up to the part in Mark. And we have to come up to the part Lord willing in Luke. We're going to break down again all four gospels. 
I was just telling my daughter now, it's funny. Seven years ago, we were at the same place. This is the second time we've gone through all the scriptures. We went from Genesis to Revelation. We went from Genesis to Mark. Here we are in 15. <clears throat> Seven years ago, we were in Mark, closing Mark 14. That's a hunky-dory. I think God's in that. And we don't, you know, okay, we're done one chapter. Hallelujah, glory to God. We didn't do that. We stopped, we studied, and we looked. Because I would have loved to have, if the rapture happened today or tomorrow, I would love to have Jesus take over to Mark 15. Or even Mark himself. I would be pleased for Mark or Jesus to come up to me. I wouldn't even be, be, be to even have Jesus say anything. I would have just Mark to come up and say, hey, you studied my gospel. Well, we got to 15. He goes, well done. You can't say well done when, when you, you got one whole complete chapter done in 45 minutes. So they're accusing him of many things. They're trying anything and everything to get rid of this one who's never lied, who always does right. Because he makes them look bad. But he answered nothing. Now you don't have to answer. I had one time with one of the street ministries, I forget where it was, and you know, they called the cops or, blah, blah, or something. I had something. I forget what it was. And I'm standing there and I haven't opened up my mouth and I'm listening to the cops say, Listen, he's good. He you know, he doesn't he doesn't cause no trouble. I had another situation with, with the police, and I forget what it was. And the other people drive off. I'm saying, well, what's going on, officer? I mean, you've done nothing wrong. Don't need to say anything. Sometimes what gets you in trouble is not you've done something, is you won't shut up. Pilate asked them again, saying, Answer thou nothing? Behold, how many things they witness against you. Listen, it ain't just one, it ain't just two. Tear down the temple in three days and rebuild it. You think he's king? He's not paying his taxes. He's absurd authority over the land. He's got your picture, he's throwing darts at it. You know? Anything and everything to get rid of. But Jesus yet answered nothing. So that Pilate marveled. Pilate's like, you know, I've had all these people come up to me. Oh, God, right, it wasn't me. It was, it was uh, you know, I'm a black man. Isn't, I'm a slave. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, this family or that family. Blah, 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 blah. No more guilty. It's amazing to read a newspaper. A guy is caught in the crime by the police, by witnesses. He stands before a courtroom and he has the nerve and has the right to say not guilty. You, what you ought to do is when he is found guilty, you tell his lawyers you cannot practice law anymore. We got a problem with, with American justice and American court and lawyers that follows with the government. I had one time I had a situation and, and I, I, I was I had a lawyer and everything, and it just happened to hear my lawyer say that I was playing golf with their lawyer. Oh, really?
I'm telling you, they're all going to stand before God one day at the great white throne judgment if they're lost, at the judgment seat of Christ, if they're saved, and they're going to be let out. Everything you don't know that, that the legal people are doing, that's all the field. All the things that Democrats and Republicans, uh, you don't know what they're doing, will be relieved, will be shown by God. And if it was a black thing or, or it wasn't a black thing, it'll be relieved. And you can say, you can say, well, Jesus, you don't understand. Jesus, you don't know. Jesus, what's your problem? Hey, approximately 33 AD, I stood before a judge. I was innocent. I am God. And they sat there with false charges, and I didn't open my mouth at all. Can you imagine? And this is what I believe, and I could be wrong. At the great white throne judgment, I can believe that God's going to let them say whatever they're going to say. Can you imagine somebody, well, you know, I grew up in this environment, I grew up in that environment, it was a BLM and all that. And you just, man, hey, listen, we all come from Adam. And you can't blame Adam. You know, we got a free will that some churches don't teach. What's Jesus' answer? Nothing. I don't even think he would make a face. I would make a face. I would make a face and say, <laughs> loser. Not Jesus. But Jesus yet answered nothing. So that Pilate marveled. Listen, this guy said all kinds of people in front of him. I had a case. I don't know if this is real or not. See, I'm going to tell you. If I'm going to bring up a preacher story, I'm going to tell you if it's real or not. I don't know. But th th this is one of the stories I heard in school. That before a, a, a courtroom, before a judge in the Old West, two men were brought before this judge. One man, he was a cattle stealer and all that. And guy, oh, I got right there. That was my family. It was really mine. And I didn't know it was his. And blah, 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 blah. And he kept blah, 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 blah. If I had the judge to say, listen, 30 days jail. Indian walked in there and judge said, hmm. And the judge has got irritated. He's like, just get that Indian out of here. Just get him out of here. The Indian runs into the to the, the, the cow ranger out in the hallway. And the Indian says to the, to the white guy, white men talk too much. That could be a friendly light story, but. Pilate marveled because Jesus, my Savior, my God, didn't open his mouth. He didn't have a lawyer. He knew, he knows or knew what's going to happen to him. He knows that the suffering ain't done yet because he's going to stand before the Romans. He could call legion of angels. He could have said, Father, I've had enough. If this is your creation, my creation, and this is what they're doing to me, you got these stupid things we saw the other day. What would Jesus do? Well, what would Jesus do? You're not going to do it because you ain't holy and you ain't sinless. Matthew 27. I'm in no rush. Matthew 27. I don't know what we're going to do when we get in Luke, but we're going we're gonna to look. See, you know, you know what the problem, and listen, I do it. I, I pick up in Genesis, and I go all the way to Revelation, and I go back to Genesis, and go back to Revelation. You, you know, 
when you do that, you don't go from Mark to Matthew again. How many days ago would you have read Matthew? Let's see, Mark, well, actually, we're on Isaiah, so we're not even now. But Matthew 27, 1, when the morning was come, that's 6 a.m. Jewish time, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. All right, so what is their motive? They want him dead. Why? Think about it. Think about 27 chapters. Think about 15 chapters we studied, because we already did Matthew. What did Jesus do has got them so angry? Later on, we're going to learn, it's be, Pilate will tell us, because of envy. A man will destroy his family because of envy. A man will destroy his church because of envy. A man will destroy his job for envy. And when they had bound him, or man handcuffs tied him, they led him away. See, that's carried to deliver him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. So Pontius Pilate is the governor of Judah area of Rome. Roman governor. Excuse me. Luke 23. Luke 23. The whole multitude of them arose and led him on the pilot. All right. The Sanhedrin is 70. The chief priests are two. I don't know how many elders there are. And I don't know how many scribes there are. But there is more to this group I just named to be a multitude. As much as Jesus, remember all the times we read the multitude followed Jesus, the multitude followed Jesus, all this great amount of people are following Jesus and they're elbowing each other. And Peter's like, who me? What do you mean? Who touched you? <coughs> oh, I just got one an elbow in the face. Oh, someone just hit my side, Jesus. Oh, stepped on my foot. What do you mean? Peter shoved. Someone just stole my hat. There is a multitude of people that have Jesus and they want to bring him to, to Pilate for one thing we read in Matthew. We want him dead. My family don't like I'm a Christian. That's okay. The entire nation of Israel didn't like Jesus for being the Savior. People make fun of me because I go to church and all that. They make it fun of Jesus because he's done right. <laughs> the people called the cops on me because I passed out gospel trap. The people illegally arrested Jesus, illegally has a, a, a kangaroo court, and is illegally false charging him before the government. And they began to accuse him. Say we found this fellow perverting the nation. You know, he's got this strange doctrine. He's got this strange teaching. They don't go to synagogue no more. They think we're Roman Catholics. They think this. They think that. They don't pay taxes. They don't do this. He violates the Sabbath. We keep going. All of it is true, and all of it is scriptural. It's they that are the sinners. And forbidden to give tribute to Caesar. He never, never, never said that. 
He says, look at the coin. Whose coin is it? It's Caesar's. Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. Render unto God the things that are God. He never. He told Peter, go fishing, get that coin, pay the tribute. Tri 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 you know, you got Christians today. They're not going to pay tax. Why are they going to pay tax? I bet you each and every time taxes were due in Israel, I bet you Jesus sent his man, Judas, to go pay his taxes. And Judas was a thief and he held the bag. I don't know if Judas would, would have held it. I don't know I don't know if Jesus would have allowed that because it would make him an error. You can't go and say your accountant has messed with your funds. You're supposed to be checking your accountant. Saying that he himself is Christ, a king. Not yet. Because he can't be king right now. And matter of fact, when they wanted him to be king, John chapter 6, he left. That's only because he had the, the soup and, and bread ministry. And Pilate asked him, say, now, now look at Pilate's attention. Art thou king of the Jews? Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Are you overthrowing the Roman government? He answered, said, thou sayest it. You can't say neither nor that Jesus said that. He said, you said it. Imagine the day when Jesus is crowned King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Imagine the day they say Pilate never got saved. Imagine the day Pilate, if he's at the great white zone judgment. What was that charge? You see, what's, what's on my head? I don't even think Pilate would have a crown. Then he said, then said Pilate to the chief priest, to the people. I find no fault in this man. He's, he's innocent. There's no troubles with him. At this point, Pilate won't get to it. Pilate says, this man is innocent. And they don't let him go. They have a man in the courtroom, and and the and the and the jury says, "No, we don't find no. He's he's innocent." That guy will have a fire burning trail out to the public sidewalk. <laughs> well, you got stuff in your jail cell. Send it to me. I'm going to buy it. John chapter eighteen. Gospel of John chapter eighteen. Verse 28. Then they led Jesus from Caiaphas. Right, there's your high priest. Look at all the information you got from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all together. I tell my daughter, I used to tell my wives when they're alive. We we would get a guest preacher something, and I would whisper to him, Matthew. Like Matthew is the only book in the Bible. And they'll be talking about Matthew sixteen. Never mark. Never mind Amos. Habakkuk. My family's been through Amos and been through Habakkuk and Joel and, and Jonah. He died in the whale. He went to hell in the whale. Adam and Eve had no belly buttons and when Cain and Abel were born, they're like, what's that? And they're looking at their belly and look at their belly and a little belly button. That's scriptural. 
The fact is that, that the males want to be females, the females want to be men. That's not scriptural. They led Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment. That would be the Rome. And it was early, 6 a.m. In the morning, 6 a.m., early. You know what the Holy Spirit's telling you? This was at no time to be judged. Now, there's an event with Night Court where they would set your bail and stuff like that. They wouldn't have the complete trial. And they themselves went not into the judgment hall. At least they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Passover. So they wouldn't even go and face Jesus and face Pilate. They're in another room. Pilate then went out onto them and said, what accusation are you bringing against him? Here is Jesus standing in the judgment hall. Pilate says, excuse me, walks over here where they won't go in, where they're at. Maybe where the place where Peter is. So what are you guys charging him with? Huh? Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> at the Roman government, because they don't want to be defiled at the Passover over God, they're not even facing their accuser. Jesus. But what is it? How it then went out onto them. They're not in the same room. That's that's wrong. And Jesus stands there. He's been beaten. He has not slept over 24 hours. They had their meal at night. From night, they go into the garden. He doesn't fall asleep. The disciples do. Three times. Uh, Judas comes in the middle of the morning. They bound him. He's there early in the morning being being beaten, being questioned, bloodied, punched, everything. And the, the rooster has an er, 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 yeah. Because Peter has not denied him. And when the sun comes up, that's when he starts, er, 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 and that's 6 a.m. It's early in the morning, Gospel of Luke. When they bring in the pilot. Pilot was asleep when they went to judgment. 